Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another TossCast podcast. I have with me tonight uh, Twill from This Week in Linux and, of course, Twill.tv. I thought tonight we would discuss something that's uh, somewhat new to me. Uh, that's Steam Gaming in Linux. I know a lot of newbies ask questions. Uh, they'll send me uh, questions or comments. They'll say, hey, I would love to try Linux, but can you play games? Or like, it doesn't play games. Should I stick with Windows? Well, you can play games now if you run the Steam client. At least that, that'll give you some more choices. But it's new to me, so I thought I would have someone on who's, uh, you know, who knows more about gaming in Linux than I do, just to tell all you guys I don't do a lot of games on my PC in general. That includes both Linux and Windows. So maybe tonight we can, you know, maybe I can pick up at least a few tips on how to improve my gaming experience in Linux. So at this time, I would like to welcome Jordan to the podcast. Hello, Jordan. Hello. Thank you very much for having me. It is great to have you here. Like I said, I need someone smarter than me when it comes to gaming, at least in Linux. But mm -hmm. how much gaming do you do in Linux? Uh, I, on my Linux machine, I've done a little bit. I haven't, I haven't dove into it quite as much as I probably should have. I've probably got in the neighborhood of about 20 to 25 games available on my system, but I've only got probably six installed. Okay. So my first experience with it out of the box, uh, I, I was in the, the beta phases, and yeah. it was slow, it was jerky, but I was running on Intel uh, integrated graphics. It was the Intel HD 4000 graphics. Okay. And I had all the updated drivers that they asked for. Uh, still was kind of rough. Okay. <laughs> so I stuck a, an NVIDIA graphics card in my system, had to use the proprietary drivers to make it work. But ah. the performance has just been very, very usable. I played, I've played several hours of uh, Team Fortress 2 from Linux with, with no issues, no real lag or anything. Okay, so uh, apparently I'm not the only one who may occasionally have problems with video drivers in Linux. I have an ATI card. Yeah. And, <laughs> AMD yeah. now. I, I always a go back to ATI, a but yeah. A a AMD, <laughs> oh, right, right. And if I yeah. use Zorg drivers to do my normal er everyday stuff, it's not an issue. I think the Zorg drivers, for what... You know, for what it's worth, are terrific. I try to install the, I, I call them the extra video drivers. They, it just doesn't work. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a review on Steam on Linux for newbies. And yes, it is fine for newbies. So Windows folks, if you wanted to try gaming on Linux, try Steam. Steam itself does work. The only problem is you may run into issues when you install the updated drivers. As, as Tool was saying, you know, your performance may vary. In my situation, just to be brief, I got one of the games, a freebie game, to work, but then when I went to uh, do something with my PC or shut down my whole, the whole thing just froze, and I'm running Ubuntu 12.04. It just froze. I couldn't do anything. So I reverted back to the standard drivers, as I call them, these org drivers. Now my PC is fine, but I can't do Steam games. So... Well, it seems like depending on the video card and the drivers, your mileage will vary when it comes to video drivers. Is that correct? I would say that's definitely true. Uh, from what I understand, um, Valve has been working pretty closely with Intel to work on performance for integrated graphics, but you're still very limited by the power of the integrated graphics chip. And they've been working with NVIDIA to get their proprietary drivers up. I don't know with, if they've been working with AMD or not. Okay. If they haven't been, they really need to be. But like you said, you've had problems with AMD drivers in the past, so this is not really isolated. Right. It's just they're, they're more required now than they were before, if you want to play the games. Well, really 3D intensive games, right? right? Because yeah, if you get, were playing something yeah. 2D, it... Yeah. Yeah, it should be all right. Like the Super Hexagon that came with a new Humble Bundle. That mm -hmm. would probably be okay, okay. on uh, 2D drivers. Uh, just to let the Windows folks know, those of you who dual boot, a lot of the games, well, I don't know about a lot, but at least some of the games in, in the Ubuntu uh, Software Center will play fine with the standard Zorg drivers, at least from my experience. When you go into the more 3D intensive stuff, that's where you may run into issues. Now, it could be... It's very possible that you install the updated drivers, you reboot, and you're good to go. It's not working for me. Um, so, Twill, based on your experience, can you favor one graphics card over another at this moment, or that's not entirely accurate? 
in, in terms of just proprietary drivers on Linux, my experience has been better with the NVIDIA drivers for the last couple of years. Okay. Uh, I think a lot of it really depends on the car that you're using. Certain, both brands, all brands, uh, the, they will sort of deprecate older hardware. So if you've got a card that's more than a few years old, it may not be available in the proprietary driver anymore just so they can keep the size down and keep the maintenance on that driver down. Okay. Um, I have a quick question. Sure. I, um, I downloaded the updated driver just using the, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, well, usually all the time, if a newbie installs a fresh dual boot install of Ubuntu, mm -hmm. a dialog box usually pops up, a hardware driver that says you can install the, these updated drivers. Um, that's what I did, but I also noticed there's an updated driver on the AMD website. Are those drivers any better or not necessarily? It's possible that they will be newer. However, the best option uh, is probably to go ahead and install Steam before you do your graphics driver. Right. Because I believe as a part of the installation of Steam, it points you in the direction of more up-to-date graphics drivers. I may be completely off base on that, but that's the way it happened whenever I was in the beta. And Okay. Um, I'm actually running 1304 dailies on mine, so I'm not a good basis for comparison with that. <laughs> yeah, that's still a beta, right? No, but... Uh, Twill, I, th I think you are correct. I, ne I need to think back on that review I did, but I believe in, in, in the process of uh, logging into Steam or running Steam, I do believe a dialog box did pop up recommending that I install the updated drivers, Right. not mistaken. Uh, so you're saying it may be possible that the ones off the actual website, the 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 well, it, it may be possible that, that Steam is going to point you at ones that are newer than what are in the traditional Ubuntu repos okay. and uh, maybe a little bit more optimized to work with Steam. Okay, got you. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't try installing from the AMD website itself. That may Those may have worked better, just yeah, to be fair about that would be a good option okay. as well if you're having problems and this does not okay. fix it. So. Okay. Um, let me ask you this. Suppose sure. I do that and, and it's actually worse and I can't boot into my Ubuntu 12.04. I can only boot into Windows 7. Um, how do I fix it? Because I really don't know how. That's actually a really good question. Um, I, I haven't gotten to the point in the last several years where the screen itself would not come on okay. with something. Okay. Uh, they've done so much work on the Xorg server to make it quote unquote, and I've got big old air quotes up here, bulletproof. Okay. Uh, so that even if you've got a bad driver, something should still pop up there and work. Okay. If it doesn't, though, you will sh you will probably get dropped into a terminal. Ah. And if I remember right, th there's a command you can run, a relatively long one, that will just reset it all to generic driver, generic oh. everything. Okay. Um, that's actually where other distros... Maybe it may have a little bit of a, an edge up because they're like Fedora has history built into their package manager. Okay. Uh, Foresight Linux has history rollback built into theirs. So with a very simple command, you can say, oops, this messed up, rollback one, or mm -hmm. undo this history, okay. and it will un uninstall the driver, put everything back the way that it was. Unfortunately, okay. Ubuntu and Debian-based systems don't offer that, as far as I understand. Okay, so this is almost like... Uh maybe like system restore mode, something in Windows, something similar that's sort available? Sort of, yeah. The, okay. uh, and it's primarily like Fedora and Foresight Linux, which is a relatively obscure distro. Okay. But Fedora has had uh, history built into their package manager for a couple of years now. So you can just say like Fedora, or yeah. excuse me, uh, yum, yeah. history, undo, and then the number, whatever yeah. the latest number is. Right. Um, would it possible I mean I'm, I'm trying to think what mm -hmm. what a newbie might I mean I can't really picture right. a newbie just typing in a bunch of terminal commands it's, no, that's no. not to be expected no. but but like I said a... most of the time it, it should not right. uh, get to that point where you're sitting at a terminal if it did yeah honestly it's probably gonna take you less than 15 minutes to reinstall the distro so right. it just that's what I did with <laughs> Ubuntu 11.2 10 or yeah. whatever, right? Just because I didn't want to spend an hour searching trying to find the, uh, you know, trying to find a solution. But I let me so ask much you. time in the past to yes. doing desktop support yes. and wasting right. days and days trying to fix things. And it's like, if it's going to take me longer than a half an hour, most of the time I'll just reinstall, back well, up everything. That, wipe that, it. that is an excellent, excellent observation because one of the comments was, you know, even if something happens, you really shouldn't have to reinstall the system. Right. And my thing is, 
if you know exactly what you're doing, I agree. But let me say this. Sometimes back in the days of Windows XP, you know, I would work on my friend's computer or even my own where I had some nasties in there, you know, some ex, you know, some yeah. viruses, what, what, you know, what I would call self-replicating viruses that eventually given enough hours or days, I could figure it out. But I'm like, why just reinstall? Yeah, I, well, and actually, with Windows, that could actually could become a problem in the long run because the more times you reinstall, uh, the less chance of your actual key working. Well, yeah, um, yeah. I just told myself, you know what, I'm not going to spend hours, and I'm just going to no, reinstall. I, I completely agree there. Right, and that is a that is like an emergency parachute, for lack of yeah. a better term. And this, it was the same thing with me with the boot. I really didn't want to spend. Mm -hmm. hours or for that matter, I really didn't want to reinstall because then, then I need to reinstall all my favorite music my song, and, and that takes time too just not as long right um, so um, I was gonna ask you one thing I noticed and I've noticed it with all uh, you know Ubuntu based uh, operating systems I have used Kubuntu and Zubuntu that when you uh, boot up, it does give you an option to go into recovery mode. Would that help, or not necessarily? No, that's that's going to end up dropping you. Well, actually, I think they've changed the recovery mode since I've used it last. Because if I remember right, it now gives you what's called an in curses based menu. Okay. So it's it's a graphical menu, but it's all text based. If that makes any sense. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like the Arch Linux installer used to be. Right. Right. And it's got a bunch of options on it now, and I honestly cannot remember what they all are. I know one of them is drop to a root terminal, and that's what right. I would always yeah. do. But I okay. think there may be one that's like a, a VGA fail-safe mode or something. I think you are correct. And that might help a Windows dual booter get back in right. their system. And then maybe from there, uh, go revert back to the Zorg drivers, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to, you know, let me just say this to all the newbies out there. If it happens to you, log in or reboot. Now, what I had to do with my system, when it froze, I had to do a hard, you know, shut down, hold the power button, and, shut, and that's not the cool way to do it. But, I, I mean, I just had no choice. But, but boot back up and go to the recovery mode. And like uh, Jordan said, there might be a, you know, go to the VGA uh, mode or something like that. That might get you back in the system. Um th That would be the shortcut. The other way, a bunch of terminal commands, which, look, I would probably figure it out eventually, but that's not the newbie way of doing things, and uh, yeah. or that that's not the short way. But from the recovery mode uh, tool, that might that might and I stress that might be an option. If it doesn't work, boot into Windows 7, and I think I've uploaded a couple of videos on how to delete just the Ubuntu side of your you know hard drive without erasing your Windows 7. I think uh, on, on my website, I believe I have very explicitly 10 steps now. Maybe a couple of steps you can skip, but don't do it. Do it exactly as it's listed. And even for a complete newbie to this, you should be good to go. That being said, back up everything first, just mm -hmm. in case. Okay. Getting back to Steam. So uh, you like it? Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, okay. I've been a gamer for years and years. And actually, I'll be real honest, I do still have a Windows installation for certain games that haven't been ported to Linux yet because... Okay. Running them in Wine is an option, but okay. my experience with that has always been mediocre at best. Yeah, right, right. I mean, especially if it's a, a higher end game, you're going to lose a lot of frames. You're going to have slowdowns. You might spend hours and hours trying to get it to work when I'd rather just play a game. That said, uh, I'm, I'm not a primary Windows user. I just have it because work provides me a copy of it. <laughs> well, you're just going by what works, and exactly, or, you know, and that's how I usually advise, uh, you know, my you know subscribers use what mm -hmm. works. If Ubuntu works better, by all means, stick with that. And really, yeah. for me right now, you know, putting aside the issue of games, which I really don't do, I usually boot into 12.04 Ubuntu 12.04 really over 60 percent. Versus 40% of Windows, you know, occasionally I may want to play a game in Windows or uh, link my Zune MP3 player, which only works in Windows. But, uh, you know, I give credit to the developers, at least for Ubuntu 12.04. It is wonderful and it's stable. Well, um, I mean, uh, like I said, I've been on 13.04 for a month and a half now with no issues that I've really, really? noticed a problem with. Yeah, that's still, I've been doing that's, all that's my video. Now, so I think I'm not mistaken, right? 
or the uh, well, uh, the the main focus with thirteen oh four, aside from getting it to be more touch friendly and working on the the Nexus devices and things like that. Right. The main other focus was to have a daily rock solid stable update. Right. So in a way, it was kind of it felt like it was kind of leading up toward mm. this idea of moving to a rolling release. Yeah. But yeah. they're they're you know they're putting out daily updates instead of doing alphas or betas or anything. Okay. The spin-off distros, the Kubuntu, Zubuntu, Edubuntu, all of those other star Ubuntu's okay. are still doing their betas and alphas and everything. Okay. But the main distro itself is not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I actually have a raring ringtail, I believe it's called, in my mm-hmm. virtual box. But uh, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to do all the updates. And you said it's quite stable as it stands, huh? In my experience with it, yeah. The only issue I've really had was about a half an hour ago when I tried to get Skype running. Oh yeah, yeah. And that was just well, that was short on time. So just to be fair, it's still not a finalized product. Exactly, so. and and so. it's mainly because Microsoft Skype, whoever, has not put out a yeah. version that's capable of running on right. it yet. I think it is possible to run it, but there's just a library I'm missing, and you have to force it to install or something like okay. that. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, I, I usually recommend to newbies don't try any uh, pre-finalized versions unless you do it, of course, in a virtual. Right. Let me rephrase this: don't install any pre you know finalized versions of any links because it may not work to your liking and something could possibly break and you will unfairly say that linux sucks which is not true Um, absolutely stick it on a usb stick or a dvd boot up from it give it a shot because it might work out really well for you you never know now once it's been finalized and ready to go sure go ahead and do it um for newbies i recommend you to stick with try and stick with 12 uh, 12 12.04 it's it's it 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 is wonderful Mm -hmm. okay let's see how how can we finish this okay uh what kind of games do you have and what do you recommend either free or paid games uh for windows dual booters for Windows dual booters coming into Linux, um, actually, anytime there is a humble bundle that comes out, okay. lately every one of them has come with Steam keys that work on Windows and Linux, mm. Windows Mac and Linux. Yeah. So I've been buying those up every time they come out, and if you pay more than like four or five dollars, six dollars, sometimes you get a dozen games, almost ten, twelve games, uh, and I think Dungeon Defenders does work on Linux now. I'll have to double check that one. Okay. But um. As far as the free ones, I haven't seen all that many of them out there yet. I just saw two. Now, there may be more than two. I had this Dwarfs, mm-hmm. and then somebody said uh, Team Fortress 2. Does that ring a bell? That uh, might yes, be Team it. Fortress 2, uh, okay. if you have not tried that one, is a lot of fun. But if you've never played it before, you're going to get owned. <laughs> all right. I, I, I'll tell you what I, I might all the time, might, and I've been okay. playing FPSs for years. Fair enough. I'll tell you what I might do. I might take a chance... I go to the AMD website and download those drivers. If my system's stable, I will challenge Twill and get my butt kicked on <laughs> Team Fortress 2, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, or maybe not, no. But uh, all right. Yeah, I'm pretty well, bad at it myself. Uh, okay, one last thing. Now, mm-hmm. you know, or you might know that I'm a big fan of Halo on the Xbox 360. Now, yeah. to be as fair as possible, or graphics quality wise, how good are the games compared to, say, the graphics quality of a Halo game? Uh, I haven't seen the, the latest Halo games. I played Halo 3, and that one was all right, but it's yeah. running on, what, 10-year-old hardware now? Uh, yeah, well, so, the Xbox recently came out in 2006. Three. So. Wasn't it? No, no, no. It was 2006, I believe, yeah. Uh, it's the Wii seven came out now, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, three, the, the 360, I believe, came out in 2006, I think. Okay. Yeah. Well, still, either way, still, I mean, imagine trying to play something on a, a seven-year-old computer even. Well, yeah, right, right. It's going to be rough. So they have to downscale everything and make it, it – it's still pretty, but it's not quite where PCs today are. True. On my on a Windows installation, games like Borderlands, Borderlands 2, they yeah. look amazing. Okay. Um, actually, I played all the way through Saints Row the Third, okay. which is not a game for kids. Do not let the kids uh, play it. Uh, true. <laughs> but yes. uh, lots of fun, and it looked very nice as well. Okay. Uh, I haven't played any of the other ones like Skyrim or... Okay. Well, I don't even know what's new anymore. <laughs> I'm old. I understand. Yeah, I, but, I was uh, just trying to give the newbies... But yeah, the, the, in terms of graphics yeah. quality for the ones on Linux, yeah. uh, Team Fortress 2 is, is a really good example of how good it can look. Okay. Because there's not really artifacts or jaggies or um, clipping or anything okay. bad. I mean, it's it's really well put together. The The whole source engine is very well done. 
All right, I have, I don't, I don't have a gaming computer for, I have a dual core. Is that going to be enough to run with, with the AMD cards? Is that going to be enough to run Team Fortress 2? Uh, what sort of dual core do you have? Uh, AMD Athlon 2. So Athlon 2, uh, 255 processor times 2. I'm just bringing it up on the system monitor in Ubuntu here. So it's an AMD Athlon 2. Athlon 2. That's, that's been a while, hasn't it? Well, I bought the computer last year, or maybe a year and a half ago. Um, I bought I bought this because I trust the Lenovo brand. As far as the processor, the, this may be a few years old itself, but, but the computer itself is stable. Did you say it was an Athlon 2X2? Yes. And what was the other number? Uh, uh, two, uh, 255 processor times 2. 255. I mean, it's still getting good reviews over on Newegg, so okay. it'd definitely be worth a shot. Okay, I, I might give it a shot then. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's see. How can we end this? So, I guess in conclusion, uh, definitely give Steam a try. The Steam client itself is free. Set, setting up an account, I didn't have any issues. You will probably, unless you already have the updated drivers, you will probably get a uh, pop-up dialog box uh, uh, saying you should... Uh, install the updated drivers. Bear in mind that stuff can happen, but uh, uh, Twill, if you have the NVIDIA card, you're probably going to be more safe than, say, the AMD card. I would, I would go so far as to say that just from my, my previous experience with AMD versus NVIDIA, yes. Okay. So give it a shot and let us know uh, if it works out and which site you went to, either through the um, Ubuntu Software Center or, or, or the um, rather the um, AMD site or whatever, and if you got it working and if the system uh, is fine. I mean, I would like to know as a dual booter mm -hmm. and just to see what happens. But um, there aren't a lot of freebies, but for what I ran up and down a the list, they weren't really that expensive either. Anywhere between, what, a dollar and $40, something like that? Uh, yeah, and and actually, depending on the time of day, time of the week, whatever, a lot of times they'll have sales. Ah, okay. So cool. like right when they first released it to the public, I think it was on Valentine's Day, they did this huge sale, so everything was between 3 and $10 pretty much. Cool. Okay, yeah. nice. Unfortunately, I didn't pick anything up then. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, Actually, okay. speaking of which, I've, I've heard that um, Serious Sam is supposed to be a really nice looking game on Linux. It's uh -huh. Serious Sam 3. It's relatively new. Okay, so I don't know what that game does. Okay. Oh, all right. It's a lot of shooting of enemies, just over and over and over again, waves after waves. Hey, I'm a Halo guy, so there we go. That's for yeah. me, baby. It might be. All right. Well, on that note, uh, unless you have something else you want to update us on your channel, do you have anything else, or we, or we can just send it here? Oh, yeah, you're um, going for that Ford Fiesta thing, aren't you? That, um, um Yeah, they're having a little... Yeah, the contest. Fiesta Movement Contest. That's it. Yeah, I, I actually did get a couple of emails back from two different guys with the, the Ford PR company, and I'm supposed to be talking to them, I guess, this, sometime this week. Cool. So, fingers crossed. So, they're going to give you the car or, like, loan it to you temporarily and send you well, out? Well, uh, they've got to do the whole interview process and, you know, p narrow down who they're going to pick. So, right. I've made it through the initial round of just getting to an interview, I guess. Nice. Now, assuming that you get it, which you should, how, how, oh, how long is the assignment? Eight months. Ah, Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I have to ask you, if you get it, no, I'm sorry, when you get it, how are you going <laughs> to squeeze this into family time? <laughs> squeeze it into family time, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, family just have to come along. Okay, uh, in that case, have them give you an extended camp for uh, Ford Explorer. So you no, can... it, would, it has to be the Fiesta. Oh, yeah. Fine. And the Fiesta, I mean, it's supposed to be a fairly decent sized little car and family safe and everything, so... Okay. I'm not going to say no. Well, I guess, you know, it's, if it's free, you really can't really complain too much, right? Exactly. All right. Well, folks, on that note, I think we will leave it there. Thank you so much, Tool, for being on the show and giving me at least uh, a few little tune-ups on what's involved, you know, with Steam and video mm -hmm. drivers. And hallelujah, I am not the only one that has issues with <laughs> video drivers. Those of you who, on that upload I did on that review, who weren't very nice to me. I don't take it personal. I really don't. But please, I just call it as I see it, okay, just to help the newbies out there. And when you folks say uh, that I sound like a noob, 
that may sound insulting, but I take it as a compliment because that's what I do. So anyway, I would like to thank Twill once again. And my my opinions and my views are not necessarily the reflection of what Twill might think about game. Just to be clear. So please don't send him any hate comments. Okay, send them all to me. Okay. <laughs> Jordan, uh, anything else? <laughs> no, I'm good. All right. Thanks when, once again. I do appreciate it. And to all of you out there, uh, I enjoy doing these with Till. I, I, I know you guys do, and sometimes you ask, you know, it's good to have you back. Well, he's, 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 he's never gone anywhere, technically. Yeah. But uh, and we'll be doing these some more in the future, maybe some other topics. If you have any specific topics that you want uh, me and Will to dis- uh, Twill to discuss, I will be happy to. Maybe have uh, you know some you know some other guests on the show. So, thank you once again uh, for listening. And on behalf of myself and Twill, we will catch all of you sometime in the future. Ciao.